Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here, and today I'm bringing you Transfer Roundup episode number three. This is where all the confirmed deals go in. Now, there's obviously ones that look very, very close to confirmation. They might actually be confirmed by the time this video is out in Delft and Benteke, but they're not confirmed yet, so they're going to be our next episode if they happen. So anyway, let's get into this. The first one, massive for Manchester United fans, it's Casilla to Real Madrid. And the reason it's massive is because a certain goalkeeper by the name of David De Gea will probably now stay at least for a year. I highly doubt that Real Madrid are going to increase their offer now, and that's what Manchester United want them to do. Real Madrid are probably going to sit back and try and get him for free next year, which works for us, to be honest, because... Even if he goes for free next year, we've got time to get a proper replacement, scout them properly, and get a good replacement for David here. And also, there's a possibility that next season, we'll do, well, two possibilities. We'll do well, maybe De Gea will have a change of heart, sign a contract. Or, Navas plays very well, or Casilla plays very well for Real Madrid, and Real Madrid start to think, hmm, maybe they can be number one goalkeeper. Maybe we don't need to fork out 30 million or whatever for David De Gea. So it's good. And uh, they, Real Madrid have got a decent goalkeeper there to try and contend with Navas. I haven't heard too much about him. I'm not going to lie. I'm just going off what journals in Spain have said. So anyway, the next player, we've got Stuart Downing re uh, returning to Middlesbrough. Now, I know he used to play for them, but wasn't he club captain? I'm not entirely sure. But maybe, you know, now with that experience that they've got back in their team, they can make a push for promotion because it's been a fair few years since Middlesbrough were in the Premier League. It would be nice to see older teams who've been in the Premier League get back up. It's always nice to have new teams getting in. So uh, yeah, maybe that he can help them gain promotion. They were close last year. I think they made the playoffs, didn't they? Or were they 7th or 8th and just missed miss playoff? Uh, I can't actually remember, but they, they came in top 8, I think. So uh, maybe they can push for a promotion. We'll wait and see. The next player, we've got Jonas Kabul moving to Spurt. Moving to Spurt. Moving to Sunderland from Spurs for a reported fee of about 3.5 million. Now, he was club captain, which is obviously a little bit strange. He dropped down the pecking order at Spurs, and this is a deal that's good for Sunderland and good for Spurs. Spurs have got him off the wage bill. You know, they've got another centre-back off. Um, now they can give the captain seat to someone else. And uh, Sunderland have got a BPL-proven defender who might not be the best, but for Sunderland, it will probably improve them. I think Virginie's just went out on loan or they've sold him, so they definitely needed another centre-back. So this is a good move for them, in my opinion. Next player, we've got Jordi Classy, another player moving from the Eredivisie into the BPL this year. He's signing for Southampton for 8.5 million euros, which is about 6 million. Now, this is a bargain, all right? He's got so much potential. I think he's about 24. And, you know, Southampton, the last players that they signed from the Eredivisie had a great start to the BPL, tailored away towards the end of the season. But I think they'll come back strong this season in uh, Graziano Pelle and uh, Dusan Tadic. So... It looks as though they've got a very good replacement for Morgan Schneidlin. Obviously, he's off to Manchester United now. He's signed there, so um, they definitely needed a centre mid. And I think this is one of the best ones they could get for cheap. Southampton are a brilliant selling club. They sell high, buy low, and rinse and repeat. And they seem to get talents so many times. The best uh, team to compare them to, I would say, is Atletico Madrid, to be honest. Uh, certainly from the last few years, because they sell high and buy low and then, you know, create world-class players. So, uh, yeah, very good deal, in my opinion. And the final player, we've got Jens, who's moving, or is it Lens? I think it's pronounced Jens. He's moving to Sunderland for a fee of about 8.5 million. Now, they did need a winger, so this is a good move again. You know, there's so many mid-table teams or relegation-threatened teams that are strengthening, and I really can't call the BPL next year. Honestly, it, it's so good to see players moving to lower clubs in the BPL or lower place clubs in the BPL to try and fight relegation, try and fight for mid-table, etc. It's really good to see and it improves the BPL overall. So I'm glad to see all these deals happening and I'm sure the fans of these various clubs are. So let me know what your opinions of these deals are. Do you think there's any that are bad? I mean, I think all five improve the teams that they've been signed for. So uh, yeah, do you agree or do you not? Hopefully you do enjoy and yeah, peace.